All right, let's start again. I've got a bit of wind picking up. Um, it's starting to get overcast. Um, let's try and wrap this part up before it starts raining. Uh, where have I been? I've been to Mexico. I had to rush over there. I've been away a month and a week. And I've only just looked up my YouTube account um, a couple of days ago. And I can see that I've garnered a few more subscribers. So um, thank you for joining the team. Woohoo, 50 subscribers. Got to start somewhere, I suppose. <coughs> Yeah, anyway, to get to New Zealand from Mexico, a uh, bus trip um, into Mexico City uh, Airport, Benito Juarez, where I then stayed in a um, capsule overnight, catching a flight to, uh, what is it, George Bush Airport, Texas, and from there connecting on to a flight to Mahara, Chicago Airport, and then from there directly into Auckland Airport, New Zealand, where I would then catch another bus to Hamilton City, uh, where I'd pick up my car from my niece, who's been kindly looking after that, and driving home here 25 kilometres away. So here I am. Oh, that wind's really picking up. Hopefully the old dead cat here is taking care of the wind noise. Something that I've been battling a while. Anyway, I arrived here um, completely naked. Um, naked, not naked. Good old Kiwi slang for tired. I arrived here very tired. Um, in my mind, I said, right, as soon as I get home, I'll go to the garage and charge up the electric motorcycle so that I can then zip into town the next day. Um... But silly me, I put, plugged in the cable to the wall, mains outlet, and then into the battery, which then blew something up in the battery. Um, what you're supposed to do was plug in the cable from the, you know, the wall socket into a cont um, control unit, or power supply, and from there a cable to the battery. But um, somehow I it slipped my mind and put the cable straight into the battery and poof, something's gone. Um, I knew a long time that this was going to happen, if not by me, um, another user, family member or whatever. So I've blown it up. Now, yes, stupid of me, but i got to say it, it's a stupid charge system. Um, for the bike, um, it should, you, there should not be a connector. The same connector that you plug into the charge box, there is the same connector in the battery. I should have modified that long time ago, and um, oh, I just never got around to it. So anyway, I've got to deal to that. Um, it's a 72 volt system and let's hope it's a, um, a fuse, a thermal fuse in the battery pack or um, worst case it could be, uh, I could be up for a battery management system being replaced uh, or BMS for short, I might have to replace that uh, or hopefully let's, let's hope I can repair it. Uh, when I plugged the cable in from the wall to the battery, it took out a circuit breaker in the house. I thought, oh great, I'll just connect everything the way it's supposed to be. Turn on the circuit breaker and it should be all sweet, but no, it wasn't the case. So um, I'll be opening that soon. That soon might need to be when it stops raining because I intend to do that out here beyond the... the um, I've got a cement slab down there, a bunch of tiles. I'll open it down there because, you know, those batteries do hold a lot of energy. 72 volts I'll be working with, and um, I don't want anything going wrong and then catching fire, so we'll do that out there. Uh, 
in the next clip I'll take you to the bike and we'll have a look at it and see what we can do. Well here we are next morning, uh, it's not raining thank goodness, a uh, beautiful day and uh, this is the electric uh, scooter that um, we're going to look at. Um, yesterday I may have said electric motorcycle, uh, yeah I didn't want to confuse anybody with um, you know those electric kick scooters. So this is the bike in question and we're going to try and uh, sort out the battery problem which I've killed. So I'm just going to walk in slowly and uh, place the camera on that little stool there and I'll show you what we got. Okay so this is the battery here, um, it lifts out and here's a connector which connects to the bike and then that just gets basically pulled away. When um, the battery goes in we plug that back into here. Now let's flip that over here so that you can see that's the connector for the bike and this is where the uh, charger is supposed to plug into here. Now in New Zealand this style plug here is um, a typical plug that we would use for uh, single phase high voltage 230 or 240 volt um, AC going to the national grid. Now uh, I, I don't know why but this company has decided to go with this connector for um, DC for the battery feeding power to the bike. Um, so that's the issue there. Once I get this going I, wanna, I need to modify all this so that this can't happen again. So what's happened is I've taken a cable um, from the national grid out of the wall and gone straight into there and taken out the battery. Um, whereas I should use, let me just quickly go and get it. Yeah, so here it is. This is the same cable. Um, mains and 240 volt AC. I've basically gone straight into there when I should have gone into there first and then from here to this connector. So once we get all this running we'll modify all that and um, so that can't happen again. So what I'm doing here is um, going to lift out this uh, connector and I'm looking for any kind of fuse that might be blown. Um, I mean if we find a fuse at this point then we would save opening up the, the pack but uh, yeah no such luck so we'll continue to open up the pack and um, basically look for anything obvious. Um, first thing I'll be doing is again looking for a fuse. And right there I spot a fuse, an inline fuse, so I'm going to pull that out and uh, test that. And actually it tests okay, so I'm going to have to look a bit further and deeper into the problem with this pack. That's the tester there. Yeah, that's all good, so uh, let's move on. So I've pulled it out of the case there, and um, I don't like the way all those cables and that are attached to the lid, so I'm going to snip all those and then tape them up to insulate them. That's what it looks like sitting out there on its own. I've already peeled back all that blue shrink wrap and I'm peeling back this cardboard which apparently they call uh, fish paper. And there's a lot of sticky stuff on there. Um, I'm just trying to be gentle because I don't know what's gone wrong in, inside here. Um, 
just going to try and, um, yeah, again, looking for anything obvious. Gently expose this side because we've got our red wire here at the other end, uh, which would go to the scooter, and it's coming all the way down to the this side here. So I want to see if there's any breaks in that wire. Um, let's try and take this sponge off. It's the charging wire there. Here's the big fat one that goes to the scooter that feeds voltage to the scooter. Now this see an each of there. It's yeah, so um, let's turn that around so you can see. Here's our red wire here, which um, would normally go to the scooter. It's running along here to the back. And what we've got here is a uh, bar across here. And basically connects to this bar in three points. They've just basically spread the, um, How would you say that? Spread the connections along. At the end of the day, if we could take these two off, and it's going to be the same. But they'll just put one there, one there, one there, and they're all joined anyway. So they're basically just spreading the um, current drain across the bar. So my guess is that wire is actually okay, and also the black wire, which goes to the BMS, that's probably okay. But um, I'm going to put a meter on there just to make sure. You just never know what's inside here. Yep, so the red wire is intact, there's nothing wrong with that. And let's go and measure some voltage between this black wire here without touching anything we shouldn't. Let's touch that to there. Voltage DC and uh, yeah, we're only getting a half a volt there, so um, we normally should get, I reckon, 80, about 84 volts across there, and we're not. Um, that wire is okay, and the wire going to the BMS is okay. So my guess is there's something gone wrong in the BMS. I don't see anything obvious just yet. the best way to do that safely. Let's turn that around and get this on camera. So there's the BMS there. Um, goes to the scooter that goes to the charger. I need to get this off. I 
I'm going to cut that there. Okay, let's tape that up for safety reasons. Okay, this takes care of that. We know that goes to there. And um, somehow this is not controlling power to get to this wire here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just snip all of these off. They all go to the same place, so let's snip those off. One, two, three, and that there looks like it's just taped on. So let's get some of this tape off. That should just come away. Is it going to come away or is it going to be difficult? My guess is there's probably a control fit on here that's burnt out. Alright, so that's off. There's some more tape on the bottom there. It's come from the other side. Down. God, this is so ugly. Let's snip this tape off here. Okay. here which go to the individual um, taps for the battery. Um, I'll get a texter or something and mark those so I know where they go. Okay, let's put some marks on there so we know where they come from. Put one there and one there. This one here we'll put two marks on there. One, two. Now let's, we should be able to just unplug those. Let's try and do that without shorting anything. Here we go. One and two. There's the BMS there. the BMS. Now let's, have, let's take this plate off here. Let's have a look under here and I'm expecting to see something burnt out. <laughs> 